Hello, welcome to Chorus House. Today we're going to be looking at these Miche uh, valve extensions. Hi everyone, welcome to today's video. We're going to be looking at these Miche, if I'm saying it right, or Miche, or Mika, whoever you want to say it. Uh, these are 30 mil valve extenders and they're aluminium, red anodized with a vibro stop blister. I uh, bought them from Wiggle, nine pounds 53. Um, and they come with, it looks like uh, patches for the uh, valve, the bottom base of the valve sticky patches and if I haven't lost it there it is off camera this is what you get for your money two of these 30 mil aluminium anodized valve extensions now for those of you who don't understand why I would need valve extensions um, as you know I've bought or if you've seen my video I've bought um, some new latex inner tubes. Here's one I had, uh, which I prepared earlier. They've got a 51 mil stem, a valve stem, and I need it to be 80 to uh, fit in my 60 mil carbon rims. So um, let's just unravel that. What you have to do is put the valve extender into the um, into the valve, and I'll show you how to do that now. Um, I also bought, uh, two seconds while I grab it, I also bought these um, Lifeline Valve Core Remover. This is uh, also from Wiggle, just over a pound, and that's going to help me to take out this valve, out of this stem. So basically, you're just going to put this over here, give it a turn anti-clockwise, and the valve uh, comes out. Okay, looks like a little lightsaber. Um, then what we're gonna do is turn this over. Oops, screw that in like so. And then we're gonna use the spanner end, which fits over there, and we turn that clockwise. Oops, I've dropped it. Turn it all the way till it seats bottoms out and there we go okay and now we're going to put the valve back in in the end okay give that a turn and then using the end again just tweak it up and there we go so it's nice and tight and there we have it so we've just uh, built ourselves an 81 mil valve out of a 51 and a 30. So basically that's it. Um, dust cap will go on there. There we go. So that's how valve extenders work. Uh, pretty basic, you just screw them in. So that will now fit through my 60 mil and I'll have about 20 sticking out the end, which I can use to inflate it with my track pump. So, um, also, what I'll do is a tip for you as well. You'll see it in the build video, but for now, I'm just going to give you a little tip. I use um, black electrical tape. Um, I'll just run it up the length of the valve. A couple of layers, two or three layers, just to stop the valve rattling in the in the valve hole of the carbon. Otherwise, it just rattles all the time, and it's so frustrating. Um, so that's a little tip. Put some. I just use insulation tape, black electrical tape, wrap it round, push it through, and it sits nice and tight, and it doesn't rattle around because obviously there's no um, there's no screw, there's no screw to stop it rattling. So uh, that's a little tip. Um, okay, so thanks for watching this video on these Mish uh, thirty mil valve extenders. There they are. As I said, I got them from Wiggle. I'm going to leave the description in the box below. Um, I'll leave the link, sorry, 
and um, we shall see you on the next Kairos house. Thanks very much for watching. Oh, before we go, before we go, we've got to weigh them. <laughs> Silly me. Okay, so I've stripped them, um, stripped them out again. One valve is going to set you back one gram. Surprisingly, two valves is going to set you back two grams. So it's not going to add that much weight to your bike. Um, yeah, so um, we'll see you on the next Kairos House. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, comments, and I'll get back to you. Take care. Bye.